Well, we're gratified that the case is finally over and that the jury did the right thing. Uh, our job, of course, was to present the evidence that was collected by the law enforcement and to seek justice for the family of Russell Reed. And uh, it's good to have this conviction, and we're looking forward to sentencing on January 16th. Not you're done today, but you're done basically at the end of the month, but I know uh, it's just Well, as you know, I'm retiring November 30th. Right. Uh, I have indicated to my potential successors that I am available if they uh, request any assistance from me. Was that pretty much designed in case this case happened, something had happened and it went past the end of the month? Well, as, as you know, this case had numerous continuances, most of them over our objection. Um, and we weren't sure we were going to get it tried by December 1st, and we're very happy that we did. But there is a sentencing on January 16th, and I fully intend to be present and participate in that sentencing. And once that happens, will his 160 days start then for the next trial? That would be what we would believe, yes. How gratifying was this for you to, to win this, knowing that? Well, the gratification in, is that we were able to uh, attain justice for the family of Mr. Reed, even though that justice was delayed far longer than we would have liked to have seen it delayed. This verdict is a step on the way. We have yet another verdict that we intend to achieve. What were your thoughts on the cameras in the courtroom this time around? Well, as you know, uh, I, on behalf of the people, filed a resistance to the cameras in the courtroom, but I ultimately believe that they were done very well. They were very unob unobtrusive, and uh, I can't say that I still feel the same way I did initially. Uh, you folks all did a great job.